Hi everyone, happy late game development anniversary. Yeah, for February 10th, 2022, that was when I released the first build of the Inferno game. Now this year I managed to get the game's first beta build uploaded this year on the 10th, but I couldn't actually get a video together due to uh, some health issues. I'm feeling a little better as things are warming up, so I got a video done for this month's build. First thing I did was change the controls. I got some good feedback on my game, mainly with the controls and how it was confusing navigating the game with them. So I decided to eliminate the mouse and make the controls completely on the keyboard. Now the player uses the arrow keys to move and the Z, X, and C keys to do all that extra stuff. I like how it's turning out so far because I prefer the simpler control system. Since I changed the controls, I also needed to change how Diablo's thermal abilities worked in-game for the platform and in puzzle solving. You use the Z key to toggle whether you want to use fire or frost, and the X key to activate the ability in the field around Diablo. The C key is to interact with individual objects, like to lift a crate or to talk to an NPC. The glider AI is an enemy that flies around. Right now, it just has up and down movements, but I might try to create a more uh, dynamic pass in the official game and a way the player can distract them for a couple of seconds. They were supposed to be the same as the runner AI, but the programming for the two were more different than expected, so I just made them into separate enemies. I wanted to add some background music and a cutscene of what the Inferno Games cartoon intro could have looked like, so I've got an intro song in the works. I researched other 1960s cartoon intros to get a feel for how long the song needs to be and uh, what kind of vibe they give. Most of them are pretty jazzy, but I tried to uh, create a song that's more in line with Eastern Canada's folk tradition. I have a couple of versions of old game design docs for TIG, but they're massively out of date by now. I'm currently writing up a new one for the entire series. I mentioned in earlier videos that this was supposed to be one big game, but I later split out the story between several smaller games. I'm currently deciding between three to five games for uh, the series, as I'm fleshing out the details. With that said, now I can get on to the next steps. Now that I have a solid foundation for the game's player, enemy, and mechanics, I can work on fleshing out the puzzles for each room. I have more ideas for the mini-bosses and big bosses that I'm going to experiment with. I'll also need to create the final art for the characters, rooms, and the episode start and end in scenes. I'm not a fan of too many cutscenes in games, so I'll only add what I need. I'm also not a fan of mandatory tutorials, so I'm going to try to see what I can do about teaching uh, the player how to make the game fun without it being too long or boring. I plan to release one or two more builds of the beta before the finished demo of the first episode of the game. Taking surgeries into account, I can see the demo being finished around uh, July, about, give or take. That's all for now, folks. Thank you so much for supporting the development of the Inferno game, and I'll see y'all next month.